Hi, Stefan Madelich here with Bounty Hunter Rare Wine and Provisions in Napa. Uh, came out to uh, Tokalon Vineyard today with our winemaker Tim Milos uh, to check on to see how our fruit was doing for the Justice Wines. Uh, Tim, want to tell the folks uh, where we're at? So we're in the Tokalon Vineyard in Napa Valley. Uh, it's in the town of Oakville. Uh, to the east of us is Opus 1 across uh, Highway 29. To the south of us, uh, past Oakville Grade, uh, is uh, Farniente Winery. Just to the north is Robert Mondavi, and in the background is Mount Veter. So this is um, on the slopes on the western side of Napa Valley, uh, coming up towards the middle of the valley just past Yonville. Um, it's a great location for Cabernet Sauvignon because of the, 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 of the climate, it's warm enough here. Um, the soils are these decomposed materials that have come down from the mountain that are a combination of, of alluvial uplift um, and volcanic, decomposed volcanic material. And you can see some of the volcanic uh, stripes coming through this, this stone. The soils are well drained, um, uh, not terribly rich, which is perfect for Cabernet Sauvignon. Awesome. What's the fruit doing right now? So we're still a ways away from harvest. Um, we're waiting for, well, sugars are there, but we're waiting for flavor and tannin development. Um, berry ripening is a physiological process. It happens um, regardless of what we do, but we're really waiting for the, the development of flavor and tannin. And so of the many things that I watch, besides coming out and tasting the fruit every, day, every few days, um, is looking at how the seeds are ripening, how the skins are ripening. The skins right now are still tough. Uh, the seeds are, are turning brown, but there's still some yellow, and this uh, gelatin capsule around the seeds is still fairly, fairly uh, integral. That will dissolve as, as the berries become ripe, ripened. Um, in that time, we'll also get flavor development. So I'm watching these things as, as they go across um, through, towards harvest. We're about two weeks away. Awesome. Well, with two weeks left to go, what are the things that we're going to be doing now, other than uh, sitting around enjoying good wine while we're waiting? Well, <laughs> mostly we're watching. We're watching the weather, um, uh, watching to see if it gets too warm or, or too wet. Um, we've done most of our canopy manipulations. We've come, come through and touched the fruit several times uh, this year, making sure that the vines are balanced. There's not too much or too little. I can't do much if it's too little, but we try to balance it that way. Um, and appropriate sun exposure. So we get some fruit on the vines, but not too much. We're in a, we're in a fairly warm area. Napa Valley is a moderate climate, um, but the fruit can get hot during a, during a heat spell, and so we want to have some protection. Right now, this uh, dappled sunlight across the fruit means we get great flavor development, great berry development without too much sun exposure. Awesome. Well, things are looking pretty good out here. Looks like we got a little bit more time to go. We'll check back in with you in a couple weeks when we start bringing in this fruit in. And uh, until then, cheers. Cheers.